Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. The community requested an update on Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and Simu 1.11.0, so I shall deliver. In this video, we're going to take a look at performance, a graphical fix and potential issues. First things first, we need to talk about requirements. Currently, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate only works on the EU version of the game, not the US. And you will need the update, which is version 1.02, also known as V32. Following that, you will need at least Simu Hook version 0.5.5.1 to stop the game soft locking during videos. It was initially believed that you needed a save file to get in game, but I can confirm that I was able to play just fine without one. So let's talk performance. I was quite surprised about how well this game is running, especially given that in the past it didn't even boot. On my system, which you'll be able to find the specs in the description box, I was able to play using the 4K graphic pack at a constant and stable 60fps without a shader cache. If you're a diehard Monster Hunter fan, then from what I saw, the game is very playable. But of course, it's not perfect. So let's take a look at some of the issues. Graphically on my system, there were only two issues that I noticed. The first was an occasional black flicker that would come up on the screen and completely cut the image. Now this is literally for a microsecond, but it does happen quite regularly. However, I didn't find it game breaking, just a bit annoying. The second most obvious point, is at the bottom third of the screen. Now this is blocky artifacts. Just about every video I've seen displaying Monster Hunter 3 has this issue, but I'm going to show you how to fix it a little bit later on and this will apply to Maxwell GPUs and newer. Moving on to audio issues, I found that the pre-rendered intro cutscene was suffering from distortion and overlapping. However, the in-game sound was absolutely fine and any scene that used the game engine was also perfectly fine. For absolute transparency, I should confess that I didn't play the game for too long, but the amount that I did play, I did not witness any severe FPS drop, perhaps little to none, even when building parts of the shader cache. And in terms of crashes, I only had one moment at the very beginning of the game after character creation, where there is a unskippable pre-rendered cutscene. And of course, if you remember, I mentioned the audio issues, so it was driving me insane. So I went to try and skip it. I couldn't skip it. I went to minimize Simu and then it crashed. When I came back into the game, it was gameplay. Something that I did notice that you may be interested in, from a graphic pack version 347 of the community builds, uh, when I tried to use the 1440p pack, it was an absolute mess, so I would suggest avoiding that. The 4K pack was absolutely fine, and of course you can choose to use no graphic pack at all. My understanding is that on the Wii U, Monster Hunter runs at a native 1080. On Simu, I'm not sure if it does that, however, it looks good nonetheless. In terms of Simu specific settings, I tried several variations both with timers on, timers off, 
uh, GX2 draw done on and off and honestly I saw no difference so I don't have any specific Simu recommendations. So let's remove those ugly blocky artifacts on the lower third of the screen. This fix relates to Maxwell GPUs and newer. I'm going to provide two different options to solve this. The first is the initial link to Reddit. The second will be a pre-made pack where all you have to do is make one little adjustment. The problem comes from the NVIDIA tile based rasterizer that was implemented on Maxwell or later. What we're going to do is disable it. If you want to use the pack I've provided down below instead of doing it yourself manually, it's very simple. Download the pack and open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. From there, find Simu in Profiles at the top. Then click the Show Unknown Settings from NVIDIA and scroll down to Section 8 Extras and turn off tiled cache then hit apply changes that's it you're done now load monster hunter and enjoy playing artifact free this fix was initially brought to light by guz on the nvidia forums and it was expanded upon by flocker on reddit this is not a new fix for some visual glitches in simu games when using an nvidia graphics card however it is very overlooked for example it may even help you on breath of the wild with lava and water of course this is nvidia and my specific card if you're interested is a 750 ti it should be noted that this is somewhat experimental so if you experience any negative visual side effects feel free to turn it back on all of this will be in the description below a small frustration comes when you try to enter your character name some people say that when they do this the screen goes black that did not happen for me so all I did was press A on my controller, I typed my name on the keyboard, it did not show on the screen until I pressed enter. Babe, 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 how? And after that everything was fine. If you do have a black screen I'll provide a link to a reddit post about that issue. There you go everyone, Monster Hunter 3 working quite well. Of course it is in need of improvements which I'm sure we will see in the future. If you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up, if you enjoy my content and find it useful and want to see more from The Complaining Gamer please feel free to subscribe. Take care, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.